Many civilizations have risen and fallen. But for our generation, all of humanity is under threat. We're facing climate change. Every year, there are huge floods and droughts. 800 million people go to bed hungry. Two billion people are not getting enough nutrition from their food. Two thirds of our wildlife has been lost in the last 50 years. But there is something we can do about this. There's a solution to all these problems. And it's right here under our feet. Healthy soil can be a solution to climate change, floods, droughts, food shortages, loss of wildlife and more. But first, what makes our soil healthy? It's not just earthworms, ants and badgers that live in the soil. Healthy soil is teeming with microscopic life. One teaspoon of soil contains more microorganisms than there are human beings on this planet. Thousands of varieties of nematodes, fungi, bacteria and more. Each one has an important role to play in the ecosystem of our soil. Some of them break down organic matter like dead leaves and animal waste. This provides food for plants and other creatures. Others break down the minerals and particles of sand. This provides plants with the nutrition they need and in turn the nutrition we need. These little soil creatures are essential to life on this planet. In fact, without all these soil creatures, soil would be just sand. Soil is our life. Food comes from soil, clothes come from soil, and books. But all over the world, our soil is dying. One indicator of healthy soil is earthworms. In the UK, three in seven of the fields have low earthworm numbers. That's a lot of unhealthy soil. In fact, in Europe, two thirds of the soil is in an unhealthy condition. Another way of knowing how healthy soil is, is by measuring the amount of organic matter. Here in Italy, it's pretty bad. The soil in Italy has only 1.2% organic matter. For soil to be healthy, it should be at least 3% to 6% and less than 1% means the soil is essentially a desert. In India, about two thirds of the soil has less than 0.5% organic matter. Another indicator of soil health is the depth of topsoil. Topsoil is the top of the soil where most of the life is. Here in the US, we have lost 50% of our topsoil. Another indicator of soil health is desertification. That means when land has become a desert. In Africa, 45% of the land is desertified. And the UN estimates that by 2030, we will lose two thirds of the land we grow crops on. It doesn't take a genius to realize that if our soil is unhealthy, our food quality reduces too. For example, if I want to get as much nutrition as this plate of salad would have provided 100 years ago. Now I'd have to eat all of this. I can't eat that much. And this isn't just about food quality, it's about food quantity. Unhealthy soil means less food for everybody and less reliable harvests. This is about climate change. Healthy soil is a huge carbon sink. A carbon sink means something that takes in carbon and stores it for a long time. That's helpful because it means that the carbon is held in the soil instead of in our atmosphere as carbon dioxide, which you probably already know is a big contributor to climate change. Our soil actually stores three times more carbon than is in the atmosphere, but unhealthy soil loses carbon. It contributes to climate change instead of being a solution. An unhealthy soil doesn't store water, so when it rains, the water doesn't soak into the ground and we get floods. And once the flood is over, we get droughts. This is about our future. By 2050, UN agencies say 90% of the Earth's soils could be degraded. Unless we act now. Because we can turn this around. It's possible to bring our soil back to health if we take care of it. We can do our farming in ways that make our soil healthier. By getting more organic matter into the ground and creating conditions where the soil life can thrive. We can make soil into a solution. Where our soil is able to store water so that we don't get floods and droughts. Where our soil helps us reduce climate change emissions instead of being a cause of it. 
where our soil supports our wildlife to thrive. We need to make sure it happens. And that means making sure everybody knows. Because we are not government officials, politicians or farmers. But we do have a voice. If everyone knows how important soil is. If everyone knows that we can't go on treating it like dirt. If everyone knows we need to take care of our soil. Then change will happen. This is our future. And soil is our solution. Let's make art about soil. Write a poem about soil. We can also write letters to our elected leaders. We can use our voices and creativity to bring soil to the top of the world's agenda. Let's make it happen!